Hi, welcome to Software Saturday. In today's lesson, I want to show you how to create a two-part applique in Perfect Embroidery Pro. Let's start by going to File and selecting the Import True Type Text selection. I'm going to type in the digit 2 and then click on the icon to allow me to access all the fonts that are installed on my computer. And when I get to Britannic, I'm going to select that and say OK and OK again. And then there's my letter 2. It's really quite small. As we can tell when we go into the, tra the Transform tab on the Properties box, it gives us our height and width. And I don't want a half inch applique for sure. So I'm going to change that to 2.5 inches and click Apply. Now I have something bigger to work with. At this point, I could right click and go to convert into applique which let's go ahead and see that happen perfect the job is done but i really don't want to have satin stitches in this part up at the top of the two because i'm not going to add a crown later on so i'm going to undo that and i'm just going to redraw just by left mouse clicking and holding down the control key when i need to add a curve and I can release that for the straight lines. So when I need a straight line, I just left mouse click, left mouse click, left mouse click, and then when I get up to some curves, I hold down the control key and it curves it just perfectly for me. So I'll add one more and then when I'm done, I'll right mouse click and that sets my stitches. You can see it's almost perfect, almost. But if we remove the artwork, it is perfect. That's just fine for my needs. This is a simple t-shirt for a two-year-old's birthday. Now, if you wanted to adjust the nodes, you could. Maybe we would bring this down, get that straightened out a little bit more for a horizontal plane there. Our next step is to import some artwork of a crown that we're going to add up in this area. So click on the next video to watch how we add the crown.